This ugly thing is the best keyboard. Let's talk about that. Hi, my name is Arturo Montiel and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we talk about tech, productivity and coding and a bunch of other stuff that I'm interested in um, here on this channel. So if you like this video at some point, please like, subscribe and comment. This is an ergonomic keyboard made by Logitech, the Logitech Ergo K860. And I've been using this thing religiously for almost a year now. And after that year, I've come up with a list of pros and cons that I'd like to share with you in case you're looking for a new keyboard. Especially for a keyboard that is as sexy as this curvy mama right here. Come on now. If you see me on TikTok, then you know that I call this keyboard the curvy board because I mean, just look at them curves. You can't get that on a regular mechanical keyboard or on your laptop. Come on, you just can't. That's a pro, it's a pro it's curvy before we start things off i'm going to tell you what an ergonomic keyboard is really quick it's a keyboard that's either angled curved or split in this case we have a keyboard that is curved and not split split is like having two keyboards and then angled is when it's still flat but it's at a 45 degree angle in this case this is a curved keyboard and it's curved at 45 degrees for your wrist. Now we can get to the fun stuff. First things first is the battery life. To make things short, this keyboard does not die. I've been using it with the same batteries that it came with for the past year, still has not died. Like I have extra batteries for it, have not used them at all. So if you're using this like for regular use, like for work or stuff like that, you'll be fine. Cause when I first got this keyboard, I was putting in like 10 hours a day on it. So. Thumbs up Logitech. Next thing is the ergonomics. And this is why I say you should stick around and hit the notification bell button for the future videos because I'm making a video about this keyboard going up against two other popular ergonomic keyboards. And let me tell you, the ergonomics on this thing is insane. It provides me all day comfort. And I mean all day. Like when I'm sitting here being a degenerate, I'm comfortable. No pain in my hands, no pain in my wrist. This thing solves that issue that I get with using a flat keyboard, like on your laptop or like a regular mechanical or membrane keyboard. But the ergonomics are absolutely outstanding. It provides amazing comfort for the wrists. On top of that, it really does reduce CPS because at the beginning of this year, I had symptoms of it and now my symptoms are gone, thank the Lord. And this is gonna sound a little bit weird to know, but this helps with supporting proper posture. Because the way the keyboard is angled, it really does force you to kind of do this. You know, like a little... Little, little... That thing. <laughs> um, so it just gives you like the best posture, seriously. I, I really do recommend it for that reason. Next is the Bluetooth. This keyboard has the best Bluetooth hands down. I can connect it to my phone, my iPad, my computer by pressing a button on it. So it's not, I don't have to go through anything. It's just button, boom, you're done. Although I will say that after having it for a year, the Bluetooth does slow down by just like a smidgen. It's noticeable to me because I'm a nerd about this kind of stuff, but it's, it's not noticeable to the regular consumer. So the thing that I noticed when I switched the keyboard on and off, there's like a little bit of a lag whenever it connects to the computer. Before it used to be instantaneous. Now it's kind of like a, like a second. Again, not that noticeable, but to me, because I'm a nerd and this is literally what I do for a living, which is type, like I, I notice these things. So seriously, go buy it. It's crazy. Lastly, for the pros is the customization with a Logitech app. If you're a regular student, you're going to find presets for this keyboard for any Microsoft application or Apple application as well. And if you're someone that's in media or a creative of a sort, Using anything like Lightroom, Final Cut, or the Adobe Suite, you will you can customize this thing, like entirely, like it's a Swiss Army knife. And the best part is that if I go from, let's say I'm using, let's say I'm using Final Cut Pro, I have certain keyboard shortcuts already, but if I go to Figma, or if I go to Adobe Lightroom, or even the Notes app, there are things that I have programmed for this keyboard to do differently there. And it does it automatically. So you don't have to switch and go into the settings. It just does it automatically. That is why I say for customization for creators that are dealing with a lot of different playgrounds, as I like to call it, this keyboard, amazing. Now let's get into the cons. There's like two main reasons why you shouldn't get this keyboard. It's kind of personal preference, 
but let's go, let, let's just get into the first one, okay? The first con is that there's no portability. This 21 inch curvy board monster is an office only keyboard. And I've tried fitting it in my backpack and my backpack can barely fit it in. But when I bring it in my backpack, I'm not too secure with it being in there. I think it might break or something. Um, so I don't know, maybe it'll fit like in a luggage, but I think it's kind of weird. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to be honest, but it's really unfortunate because they didn't come out with a miniature version of this keyboard as they usually do with their keyboard lineups. And we look at to their Logitech mechanical keyboards, they have a miniature mechanical keyboard. The MX keys, mini MX keys. Logitech Ergo K860 Curvy Board Queen Monster. There's no miniature Logitech Ergo K860 Queen Monster. Okay? I miss Curvy Board, but it really wouldn't be a Curvy Board. It'd be a bump. A bumpy board. Okay? You know, all they have to do really is just take off this. That's it. Just, just take this off. Like Microsoft did it. Logitech, you can too. We believe in you. Take this off. You move this here, make some of these buttons a little bit smaller, make the space bar a little bit smaller. Sell it for like 80 bucks or like a hundred. So many people will buy it. I will buy it. That's like the keyboard that I'm waiting for. Either way, next con please. The next con is the price. Uh, this keyboard right now is like on sale. It's like 112 as of recording, but it's regular price is 135 USD. Um, I don't know what it is in Canadian because we live in America, so sorry, Maple Heads, but really, this thing's expensive. And especially that there's like not a lot of cool features that you find in other keyboards, such as backlit LED or RGB. Not that I'm into that. I'm more into like the backlit like they have on the MacBook Pros. They don't have that here. And it's really unfortunate. So the price, mm, it's worth it because it's the best in market as an ergonomic keyboard but it's like a premium, like too premium to be a premium. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so that was all my pros and cons for the keyboard. I still would buy another one if this thing broke, but if they come out with a miniature version, I believe that'll be the perfect ergonomic keyboard. So the question is, do I recommend this keyboard to everybody? Potentially. It depends on what you're looking for. If your needs are for mechanical switches, you want the sounds, this has it. but you might as well just get a mechanical keyboard. If you're worried about portability and about price, don't get this keyboard then. Look for something cheaper, look, look for something a lot smaller. But if you don't mind having this as part of your office daily driver, then go for it. I recommend it, because I'm a Logitech stan. But on top of that, I've tried multiple ergonomic keyboards and this is, this is really the only one for me, so. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, you can go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely hit the notification bell button for the video of ergonomic versus ergonomic keyboards. That's probably not the official title. We'll change it because it sounded kind of lame when I said it out loud. So we'll catch you in the next one or the previous one. I really don't know which way I order these things anymore. I have like dyslexia. Bye, guys.